Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. With today's video, I want to start a new series of videos where each time I will explain what are the best activities you can do on a daily, weekly and monthly basis in order to make a lot of gold with all your different characters in World of Warcraft. So with this video, I will be focusing on the daily activities and then in the next one, it will be the weekly and then the third one will be focusing on the monthly activities. So of course, keep in mind that this is really just based on my own experience and I'm sure I'm going to forget a lot of very important activities you can also do daily. But these are really what I think are the most important activities you should do with most of your characters on a daily basis, again, in order to make a lot of gold in World of Warcraft. And let's start with number nine. At number nine, we're going to have visiting the Black Market Auction House. So in order to go to the Black Market Auction House, you want to go to Baldraken, you want to go just here. And you just want to go down and you want to enter this building right here. Then inside you will be able to access the Black Market Auction House. And for those of you who are not really familiar with this auction house, basically, this is where Blizzard puts a lot of items that have been even removed from the game or that are pretty difficult to get up for sales. And so you can sometimes get some very, very interesting items for a very cheap price. So what I would always recommend you to do is just check daily if there are interesting things that you can purchase and then resell on the auction house for a better price. And like that, you might be able to make quite a lot of gold very easily just by doing that. And this is not the same each time from one realm to another. So if you are playing on different realms, you can each time go and they will have different items listed. And like that, you can have even more chance of getting some very interesting items and then you can sell them for a profit on the auction house. Then at number eight, what you want to do is go and kill the four rare dragons from the Elemental Storm events with each of your characters that have access to these different storms. Basically, when you kill these four rare dragons, you will have a chance at getting the four different formula for the different illusions that you can craft with enchanting. And of course, as these are all the different rares from the different storms, you will also have a chance at getting the design for the elemental Laria that you can then sell for a lot of gold. So really, this is something that I would highly recommend you to do. Um, keep in mind that, of course, also, uh, if you don't want to just sell the formula on the auction house, you can also decide to learn the formula with your enchanter and start crafting these different illusions. And you might be able to make a lot of gold on many realms just by crafting and selling all these different illusions. So again, this is something you can do without having enchanting or without having jewel crafting. Uh, these different plans, recipes, formulas can drop from any for any of your characters. And this is really something that is not too difficult. So what I would recommend you to do is each time there is a new storm that just starts, just go have a look because most of the time the different rares will be spawned at that moment and you have a chance that one of them will be the dragon. Keep in mind that for each of the elemental storms, so the fire, frost, air, and earth, you have four different rares, and one of them only will be this dragon that can drop the different formulas. But again, if you do it directly when they start, you will have a chance at directly finding it. And then, of course, you can go in the custom search, and you can try to find, as you can see, sometimes you will have some of these groups up for some of these rares. So just type rare, or you can also just type the name directly of the rare, and you might be able to find a group and then you can kill the dragon and have a chance at getting these different items. After that, at number seven, we're going to have all the different daily materials that you can craft with the different professions from Mist of Pandaria. So there are two main reasons why you want to craft all these different daily materials. The first one is because with some of them, for instance, the one from Blacksmithing, you will then be able to use them in order to craft some very interesting transmog items. So for instance, here, with blacksmithing, as you can see, you will be able to craft all these uh, reborn that are very, very interesting and that always sell for a lot of gold. And you need these materials that are binds when picked up and that you can only craft one per day. So try to do that and then you will be pretty easily able to craft these different weapons that you can sell for really a lot of gold. So this is the first thing you want to do. Then, of course, another very interesting thing is that when you craft these different materials once per day, you will unlock each time one of the recipe in order to craft some of these crafted dreadful and malevolent gladiator armor pieces. So these are very, very interesting for two reasons. First of all, because these have like basically unique appearances. So a lot of people are buying them just in order to have the full set. 
but also because with the mesh tower some of these items are actually very interesting and a lot of people are actually using them in the mesh tower because you can use a lot of sockets and other thing with these items and so for this reason a lot of people are actually purchasing all these different crafted dreadful and malevolent gladiator pieces of course when you use them you want to use the different uh, relic of the past and like that you will really have some of the best items you can use for the mage tower so this is something again you can do daily with most professions of course the most important ones you want to do it with are going to be blacksmithing so you have the lightning steel ingots and the balanced trium ingots then same for instance with uh, level working so here again you have a couple of things you can do on a daily basis for instance crafting this arden magnificent hide and then you also have at the bottom these two different things you can do the magnificence of the lever and of the scale and again each time you will be able to get some of the new uh, recipes and plans which is really really good so try to do that with all your different characters and hopefully you will be able to get all these plans recipes and items and then you can make a lot of gold with them then after that at number six we're gonna have a number of these daily materials that you can craft with some of the professions mr Pandaria. but this one is even more interesting because it will be one of the requirements in order to craft a mount that sells really really well so this item is the jars peculiar energy source this is something you can craft with engineering and basically with this item you will then be able to craft the sky golem that on most realms sells extremely fast and for a nice profit so this is really something you want to do if you have an engineer uh, every day because like that you will be able then very easily to craft the sky golem and like that again you can make a lot of gold just by crafting these items and selling the mounts on the auction house so try to do that and you should be able to make a lot of gold then at number five we're going to talk about all the different professions from worlds or john error so this is very similar to the ones from Mr. Pandaria. You also have daily materials and daily things you can do with these different professions. And then you can use all these different materials in order to craft some very interesting items that you can sell on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. So with each of the main crafting professions, and these include blacksmithing, lever working, engineering, tailoring, and inscription, what you want to do is craft the different secrets that are, again, specific to each of the professions. So as you can see again, these secrets are something you can craft on a daily basis. And with these different secrets, you can then purchase some of the plants and recipes in order to craft all these different transmog pieces from Warlords of John Error. And one thing that is also very important to mention is the fact that you can buy the plants or recipes in order to craft these different essences that you can use in order to upgrade the appearance of all these different items so this is really the main thing you want to do when you have all these different secrets and this is why you really want to do it on all your different characters once per day then after that you also have all the different materials that you will have to use in order to craft all these different transmog pieces so for instance here as you can see with blacksmithing i will have to craft the true steel ingots and again these are items that are only binds when picked up so you cannot buy them from the auction house so here this is again something you can do very easily you will receive quite a lot and then the last thing is talk to the different work orders and you can order some of these uh, ingots and some of these over materials that are binds when picked up so like that you should be able every day to almost have enough to craft a new item or maybe like every two days and then you can sell them on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. So again, what is very important to keep in mind is that when you are crafting all these different items, you really want to use the different essences because otherwise you might not make a lot of gold. So for instance here, if I take the one from um, level working, so as you can see, this is the normal appearance of this item. But if I use this essence that I have just here, it will then look like that. And this is the same with all these other weapons. As you can see again, these are the final versions and these weapons are the ones that will sell for a lot of gold. But again, this is something you can do daily with all your characters and it will reward you with a lot of gold just by crafting and selling these items. Then at number four, we're going to have all the different daily transmutes that you can do with alchemy in Dragonflight. So basically, if for instance there is one of these awakened elements that is way more expensive than others, what you can do is simply buy the cheap ones and then transmit them into the most expensive ones. And like that, you can do quite a lot of gold very easily just by doing these daily transmits. So this is something that of course always changes a lot because sometimes some of these 
materials will get a lot of value and then they will lose a lot of value. So you always want to check. But most of the time, you should be able to find some pretty good ones to craft and to make some easy gold like that. And when it comes to the different recipes and plants, all you want to do is either upgrade simply your different professions and the specializations linked to transportation. Or you can also purchase some of these uh, recipes directly from the auction house, which is also extremely cheap and very easy to get. And now at number three, and I know this one is probably going to sound pretty obvious, but what you want to do if you have some of the crafting professions with Dragonflight is to go and try to complete your four daily public orders because like that you might be able to sometimes make quite a lot of gold with the new update and with the public orders being now limited to only four. I'm sure that on many realms the value of all these different orders increase quite a lot. And so try to do that with all your main characters that have these crafting professions because you might again be able to find some pretty good orders and to make quite a lot of gold with the different commissions. Then at number two, we're going to have all the different daily materials that you can craft with the Dragonflight professions. So for instance, with Tailoring, this includes the Chronoclove Bolt and the Azure Weave one. And you have probably some with other professions. So this is something that usually is pretty easy to do. You just need to choose the right specialization and then you will be able to craft these daily materials. And like that, you can make quite a lot of gold just by crafting them uh, once per day. So this is really something I would recommend you to do if you don't want to have, like spend a lot of time on all these different professions and you just want to craft a few things and then sell them fast on the auction house. But again, the value always changes a lot. So some of them might be very good at, at one moment and then pretty bad at another moment. So always try to see what are the best ones. And then from there, you can decide to craft them or not. And finally, at number one, we're going to have one rare from Dragonflight that you can kill on a daily basis and that can reward you with a lot of really interesting items. So this rare is called Rosor and you can find him just here in the Obsidian Citadel, so he will spawn around here, around here, or around here. And basically, when you kill him, again, on any of your characters, you don't need to have uh, like a profession in particular, you will have a chance at getting two very interesting patterns. The first one is the plans for the Black Dragon Touched Armor. So this one on most realms is going to sell for 80 to 100k gold. And as you can see, I sold it for 140k gold on average. And then you also have the plants in order to craft the pet Alvin the Envil. So these plants are extremely rare. They sell on average for 400k gold on most realms. And again, you can always decide to also use the plan and then start crafting the pet because the pet is also something you can make some gold with. But this is really, in my opinion, something you should really do because it's so easy and you can really make a lot of gold just by getting these different items. And this is something, again, that you can do on a daily basis. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope it will help you make some gold and understand a little bit better what you can do on a daily basis in order to make a lot of gold. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And of course, as I explained, I will do two other videos, one on everything you want to do on a monthly basis and then what you want to do on a weekly basis. But in the meantime, I wish you all a great Sunday and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.